but yeah, I was unemployed for quite a long time, about three years on and off. And so I had to go to this place called uh, the Job Centre Plus. Now, I don't really know what the plus stands for. <laughs> Presumably, judgment and sadness. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know anyone who here has signed on, but if you have, you will know it's never a fun experience. No one ever feels good about signing on, it's not a good thing to do. Because when you go there, basically, you get this person who's your personal advisor, and it's their job to be the one to one helper to help you get a job, to help you find you know, your dream job, to find the one thing you've always wanted to do. But my personal advisor, the first job they advised me to apply for was to be a makeup assistant at Boots. Because <laughs> <laughs> this is what you want, designing your makeup. <laughs> Not only that, but it was me at 18, so it was literally like a spotty 18 year old who was scared of looking at girls. <laughs> I would just have to be like, yes, mate, I'm sure your makeup's absolutely fine. I'm sure you're making it great. <laughs> So I'm going to say thank you. It's <laughs> <laughs> just taking a weird turn, okay? <laughs> I mean, don't feel like you have to join in the whole show, I'll be honest. <laughs> this will take a long time. <laughs> Uh, but also, it wasn't very, it wasn't a very personal experience because I've been going there about six months, and my advisor still didn't know my name. I've been going there six months, seeing this woman every single Monday, and my name is Tom Mayhew. It's right there. Occasionally, people misread that as Tom Matthew. So I've been going there six months, and she looked up, looked at me, looked at the paper, and went, uh, "Matthew, <laughs> Matthew." <laughs> Matthew! <laughs> and I was like, mate, it doesn't matter how much you louder you say it, it's still not my name. <laughs> I remembered her name, her name was Carol, I remember that because that's what a human being should do. <laughs> <laughs> um, and Carol, I mean, I don't want to, you know, shit on all job centre employees, there's lots of really good people who work at job centre, who do work really hard, who do their best and do actually try hard and want to help you. But there's also a lot of Carols. <laughs> uh, Carol was a woman I once went to sign on and she was drinking from a mug and on the mug it said um, work to live, live to shop <laughs> which one are certain people who A don't have work <laughs> and B they can't afford to shop <laughs> It's kind of taking the piss, mate, isn't it? It's a bit like if you turn up to the doctor and he had a t-shirt that said, Don't worry, I'm fine. <laughs> Generally, I don't, you know, I don't think, I think a lot of times, if you have something, you know, they're, they're quite condescending. I don't think they treat people as humans. I think that's summed up by the fact that when you go to sign on, they never ask you, how are you? How was your day? They immediately just ask you, how was your job search going? Which, it's a fucking stupid question when you just turn up to the job centre. <laughs> but I'm like, you know, like, Carol, every single Monday, how was your job search going? Oh yeah, it's going great, Carol, just turn up because we have such a close bond. <laughs> <laughs> I just feel she really gets me, you know? 